Oh, I'm so excited about Tracy Ruiz being here. She is a sleep doula. And uh, you know, I'm reading through the notes and I'm like, I can't wait to chat. And you get that response from probably a lot of people. You walk All in places time. and then it's like you're bombarded with questions. My first one is, explain to people what exactly is a sleep doula. Sure, a sleep doula offers physical, emotional, and educational support to exhausted parents. And we work with children as young as four months all the way up to 10 years old now. And when you first started this, so you, you were dealing with 18 month old you know, children. Yeah. It, it's amazing to see how long or you know, how old the kids can get when they're still having issues. Well, do you know what? I think a lot of times, especially in the toddler area, everybody thinks it's a big secret. Like people won't even talk about it. It's the dirty secret of a house that, oh my gosh, my kid's not sleeping or they sleep in my bed and I don't know how to get them out. And a lot of times people get to children who are two, three and four and they're like, there's no hope now. And sometime before they go to college, I'm sure they'll leave my bed. So. You know, I think it's just some people don't think that there's ever hope once they've gotten to that point that they'll ever get their kids out of their bed. You know, there, there are certain issues. Is it either getting them to sleep, staying asleep, ending up in the parent's bed? Like you, you probably have within each household is the different, you know, problem that they're running into. Absolutely, and it's funny, every time that I think I've kind of seen it all, right. I come into a new house and I see something totally, totally different. And you know, it's funny because they'll try every excuse in the world from asking for Tylenol to, you know, stripping naked, so. Yeah, you, you've pretty much categorized them too, right? Yes, yeah, so I have in my, sense, my, my favorites. favorites. My favorites. Um, probably my most favorite is Mr. Naked. Mm -hmm. um, those are the children, and I had one of those in my house. And what ended up happening is in the morning, or when they don't get their own way, they decide to strip naked um, because they're toddlers, so they know how to take the shirt off and take their diaper off. And my daughter used to leave the contents of her diaper in the crib, so I really paid for not listening to what she wanted. So sometimes you have to think out of the box. So in her case, I actually took a sleeper that had open feet and I actually put it on backwards so that there was no way that she could get out of her sleeper and strip naked in the middle of the night. You do have tools that are helping parents. You brought us a couple of different examples. So sure. can you explain some of the things that we have here? Absolutely. So this is my monster spray. It's a very simple, just putting water and maybe a little scent in it. But there's a lot of kids who are afraid of monsters and you really want to, you know, understand that they are scared. Talk to them about it. But this is a really quick, easy way to say, you know, there's no such thing as monsters, but just in case, let's squirt underneath the, you know, the bed and in, in the, the closet, closet and make sure that gives them that security that they're well protected. And that you're listening to them, that you understand Absolutely. what it is that they're saying. Okay, so yeah. monster spray is monster. one. This is a really great one for those children that were, can you just sleep with me for five See, that more is minutes. what I get, you know, <laughs> and I'm so exhausted as it is, and I've already done the bedtime stories, and I've already read, and then we're doing the snuggling, and I just want to get out, and then I can't, I can't seem to leave, and so. This is I'm one of the best options, and you know, you just get it at any regular kind of little store, and you put it like to two or five minutes and say, you know what, I have no problems laying down with you and you know, lay down say for five minutes for a cuddle. But one thing I would encourage you to do is actually say at the end of the five minute cuddle is, you know what, let's go and do potty one last time. So that you're actually leaving the bed, having them go potty and then putting them down fully awake. Because what ends up happening is that you lay down with them, you start rubbing their back, yes. and then you've just sent the message that you're gonna stay there the whole night. And then when you do try to escape, in the middle of the night, you're not there anymore, and they say, come back, mom, come yeah, back, or dad. they just come and join you in the Absolutely. bed. Absolutely. All right, so use the timer, set it to five minutes, whatever it is that you, th that you feel is gonna be necessary, but then, have I've, them awake and leave when you put them back down. Correct. Make sure that they go fully into their bed awake. And without you there still patting and cuddling Absolutely. and doing everything. Okay, great tip right there. That's the one I'm taking. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? This is a really great one. It's called a glow clock. And what these are for is it's actually for those children. It's not plugged in, so you can't see the colors, but it actually has a moon and a sun. And so what it does is you can set it to a timer so that for those children who like to wake up earlier than even the birds wake up, mm -hmm. this way you can actually put it to like, say, 7 o'clock in the morning and say, you know what, when the sun is up, you're welcome to come out of bed. But if the sun's up, not up, you need to go back you to bed. To stay. And so it gives them a nice visual to cue and because a lot of kids don't understand their numbers sometimes. Right, because sometimes you say when you see the number six and the three, then you can, you know, yeah. So doing it with the moon and the sun. Yeah. Uh, people can can they get a hold of you? Run out of time. There's so no much. There's so much. I, I know you probably get that. Uh, you you actually make visits into people's homes that you actually work with the children Absolutely. right there. Absolutely, all over Canada. So uh, I just finished two nights here in Ottawa. So, uh, but they can go <laughs> to our site sleep? at sleepdoula.com when I can. <laughs> Uh, sleepdoula.com. Uh, thank you so much. Great information and some tips there as well. Uh, we do have to take a commercial break. We'll be back. We have your 7.30 news headlines.